Hello everybody, this is the Structures Guy, and today we're discussing how the ancient city of Hasenkiev in Turkey was moved to higher grounds due to rising water levels. The town is one of the oldest continuously inhabited settlements in the world, with evidence of people living there as far back as 12,000 years ago. In a matter of months, most of Hasenkiev was flooded by a reservoir water rising behind the Irisu Dam when Turkey has started filling the dam on the Tigris River causing the water levels to rise up to 60 meters or 197 feet. The dam was completed in 2013. The rising waters of the dam are currently submerging the historic town. As a result, residents of Hasenkiev were provided with a new town to move to where 700 new houses and supporting new buildings were built 3 kilometers up the hill from Hassan Kiev. However, some of the century-old monuments and mosques from the old town were moved to the new town in 2017. The Turkish government gave the previous residents until October of 2019 to evacuate. A year later, the reservoir has largely filled up, submerging the town and its surrounding archaeological sites, despite years of protests by residents and activists. Now, to encourage tourism, authorities are allowing swimming in the reservoir and boat tours are being offered. The process by which some of historic monuments were moved is called structural moving, where a building is moved from its original location to a new location for various reasons. So you might be asking, why would someone do that? One reason is when moving an existing building is historic preservation, where its location is needed for industrial purposes or for residential purposes when the site is needed because of increase in population. Now you're asking, would it be cheaper to just build a new building? The answer is no. It's usually cheaper to move the building to a new location than to demolish it and build a new building in the new location. Not only that, but also some buildings, usually houses, experience repeated catastrophic natural events, such as our case here, where the Turkish town of Hassan Kiev will be 80% submerged in the next couple of years. However, sometimes some buildings are built in areas where the area flood frequently near rivers or coasts or located in valleys. Those areas that flood frequently are called flood plains. The process of structural moving isn't a new one as various buildings move in different countries and geographies. However, the relocation of structures in their entirety is rare in Turkey. With all the advancement in technologies, moving buildings isn't a question of if it can be done, as it has been done for years now. So, how does it get done? Typically, the process starts with digging out the soil around the foundation and cutting small holes in the building foundations. This allows the installation of temporary framework attached underneath for structural support by attaching a grid of steel beams that provide some support. This process is called underpinning. Hydraulic jacks are installed underneath the framework that are connected to a central control system. This system monitors the pressure on each jack and helps to keep the building level as it's lifted off the foundation. The structure may be elevated in increments using crypts, which are large timber beams that are stacked into piles as a, me as a means of supporting the hydraulic jacks that are repositioned gradually higher on them. Once raised to a sufficient height, the building is ready to be transported. If the distance is relatively short, temporary rails or hydraulic dories or wheels can be placed under the framework to enable it to move. If the distance is greater, flatbed trucks are used. After the move, the structure is lowered onto a newly built foundation by reversing the steps we have discussed so far. The most common structural systems that are moved are usually bearing wall buildings like houses and framed buildings like industrial buildings usually. 
Back to our ancient city, the 800-year-old Artukuru Hammam was transported from the ancient city of Hasankir. The 1,500-ton building will travel 3 kilometers or about 1.86 miles on a 256 wheeled self-propelled modular transporter, or SPMT for short, taking over 9 hours to travel. The relocation of the building costed about $7.1 million, as media outlets reported. Another famous building that was moved to the new Hassan Cave is called the Tomb of Zainal Bey. The 15th century stone tower weighing 1100 tons safely traveled over a mile in almost 4 hours with the help of concrete platform and 191 wheels. The tower is a remarkable example of historic Anatolian architecture, double domed for ventilation, 50 feet tall and 25 feet in diameter, and the tower intricate tile work, making it one of the region's main tourist attractions. The moving of city of Hassan Kiev is certainly fascinating, and also the current state of the old town is interesting. Most of Hassan Kiev's residents were relocated to New Hassan Kiev, a village made up of government built housing on the opposite shore as their old homes were slowly submerged. People still like to visit the city and regularly have picnics there, where all of the buildings are partially submerged. Here are some recent pictures taken in August of 2020 of how the town looks like now where you can see that the roads and the buildings are almost fully submerged underwater and the old city is now abandoned. I hope you learned something new about structure moving and how it's applied on this town in this video. See you next time!